Hey guys, so this is my face. Um, it's not the prettiest face in the world, but what can you do? Uh, so I've got a number of things listed here that I want to say, and I've prioritized them according to how important they'll probably be to you. So first of all, my Minecraft save file I released as of it is now. I mean, it's not finished, of course, but it's released, and you'll find it in, in one of my Minecraft videos, the latest one. So the reason I released that is because I want to work on a new project. I want to work on an architecture tour of Half-Life 2. So it'll be like a let's play, but I won't just be playing through it. I'll be actually talking a lot about the architecture, which means talking about how it relates to real-life architecture, but also about how it relates to gameplay. So so the, the I guess, the artistic merits of, of the level design and also the gameplay merits of the architecture of the level designs. And yeah, that's my plan. And before I talk much more about that, I want to thank you to all the subscribers so far and all the people who watch my videos and rate my videos and leave comments and all that. And, you know, I don't say too much about that stuff. I don't say too much about likes and subscribers and all that. But, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys know already, but the way YouTube works is the more views a video gets, the more likes it gets, the more comments it gets, and the more subscribers it gets, the more YouTube believes that that video is good because it's engaging people, more people are watching it, more people are liking it, therefore it must be a better video, right? And then so the, m the more important the video is in, in those terms, then the more likely it is that that video will appear in search results, the more likely it will appear in, in the recommended stuff, you know, on, on, on the side of, of your video. And yeah, and, and so then more people will be exposed to that video. And that's why a lot of people on YouTube go around asking for subscribers, asking for likes, asking for comments and all that, because it exposes them to more, to a bigger audience. And that helps them. And it helps me too, I guess. So for people who've done that, I want to thank you. But at the same time, I don't want to focus too much on that. I mean, uh, it's always in the back of my mind, but I don't want to get sidetracked from making quality content or making valuable content or, you know, making things that are entertaining and, and inspiring and educational and useful to you guys because that's what's valuable, not not me asking for likes. That, that's just a waste of time for you guys. But, you know, having said that, I mean, I, I imagine there are people out there who would enjoy my videos but who haven't come across them yet and you know the the more my videos are visible then, then the more likely they'll see it and the more likely they'll get something out of that so I mean in a way it helps me when you guys subscribe and like and watch but it also helps them in, in that it's more likely that, that they'll come across my videos then um anyway that, that's all I want to say about that I'm not gonna you know push for anything or anyone to do anything, uh, and I don't want to get too caught up in the, in the YouTube game, in the popularity game. That that's not important. That's not important. The important thing is to make good quality video that that people find useful and interesting. So anyway, that's what I'm going to say about that. So thank you for you guys for watching and subscribing so far. Um, so back to why I'm doing Half Life Two. I mean, I, I think Half-Life 2 is a good game, and a lot of people think it's a great game. But I also think that a lot of people haven't engaged with the game in... in or haven't engaged with the full depth of the game. You know, it, it's a very... You know, there's a lot to it that that's there, but people don't talk about very much. Maybe because it, it's too complicated, or they, or they just play through it without thinking about it too much, but... You know... It, I, I, I like good games, and I want better games, and I want really well-designed games. And the way I think that's going to happen is if people come to expect those things, or if they, you know, if they demonstrate that they appreciate the effort that goes into those things, and if they reward companies that, that put the effort into making really good games, then you know, you will encourage better and better games over time. And so that, that's, that's my role in this, I think, is to, for one, demonstrate my understanding and my appreciation of 
the depth of Half-Life 2 and then other games, which I'll probably do later on. But also to, you know, to tell other people, or tell you guys, and encourage you guys to also think about games, not just, you know, in one playthrough or, or in one sitting or, or just kind of shooting through, shooting people in the head and just running through the levels, but actually taking the time to, to think about what, what's going on and appreciate what's going on. Because, you know, if people don't seem to notice these things, or game designers think that people wouldn't notice these things, then why would they spend the time and the money putting it in? And then if they don't spend the time and money putting it in, then it's not there, and the game is in fact not as deep as it could be, or as good as it could be. So anyway, so th that's that's my view on, on gaming, and, and, and I guess that's my view of my part in, in, in all of this is to just to show people and, and explain to people some of the things that they might not notice in, in certain games and, and to make sure that people appreciate good games and then therefore people expect good games and therefore good games are made. Anyway, that that's my rationale and that's why I think it's important it's important for me to do this Half Life Two thing. I've thought about it for a long time now. Like I've thought about it even before I started playing Minecraft and I think at this point I've made enough videos to be fairly comfortable with how this works and so yeah I think now is a good time for me to do this. So it's something that I've always, wa always wanted to do. And I mean Minecraft is, is quite unique in that you know you design things instead of you just playing other people's stuff. So I'll keep coming back to Minecraft because I, I also have this desire to to make my own stuff right. But in a, besides that, I think there are other important things that I can do as well, and that I want to do, and so I will do those things. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now, so thanks again, everyone who watches and subscribes and likes my videos. I think I've said that three times now in this video, and yeah, I'm not going to dwell on that, I'm not going to push you guys in any of my other videos, I'm just saying it here to, to explain it to people if you don't know what's going on, or if you do know what's going on, I'm gonna <laughs> just explain that I understand how this works as well. And then my philosophy is make quality videos, make videos that are of value to people, and I'm not gonna worry about other things too much. Although partnership would be nice, you know, get some money out of this, but that's a long way away. Alright, that's all. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in other videos.